Hey, hey, I think we're live. Wow. Thank you, Brian, for a great set. Seems strange just not to be able to look to the side of the stage and be able to say that. But uh, here we are sharing the uh, same space on the interwebs. Uh, my name is Justin Roth. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you, Sarah Slayton, for inviting me to be a part of this today. Um, music is a important thing. Um, and I don't mean for you necessarily, uh, or just for you. Um, times like this, it's important uh, for those who play to remember to play because uh, you are basically attending my own personal therapy session to be here to be able to play some songs for you. So I'm uh, really glad to be able to do it. So here we go. Summer day, sunrise From atop the peak I see the river bend Smell the wind blowing through the pines And I don't want this day to end The eagles soaring high above I see the wonder in your eyes Reveling in the mystery here alone in my basement. <coughs> I know you're out there though. It's such a different thing to, um, you know, play a show and uh, try to read a room to figure out what to play next. Um, this is a little bit more difficult to do. But uh, this is the first time I have ever done a full set live streaming solo by myself here. And uh, pretty cool, it's been fun to get all set up on the technical end. Converting my basement, I'm glad you can't see the fridge that's over there and the piles of boxes right over there. Normally when I tune between songs, I can look at people in the audience, find something to comment on. The, the fridge doesn't really give me a whole lot to go on here. 
as long as it keeps its fan off. Otherwise, I'll have to get on its case for heckling me and making noise. Well, here's a Colorado song. <clears throat> it's called Shine. night, the rocky mountain sky, I stay up late to watch the stars rise, around 3 a.m. seven sisters peek their eyes, and earthly bodies huddle around the fire. wander down on the land the stars are born and rise under them it doesn't matter if you're an ember or a flame or a cylinder rising towards the sky the light we give is not ours to take a star shine bright enough to be seen from afar hydrogen carbon and flame are all a part of every star and every fire in our hearts and into the skies sending light some glow Others beacons in the night Light voices singing a song For the whole world to hear our constellation And it doesn't matter if you're an ember or a flame Or a cylinder rising towards the sky so fun to read a room by seeing comments popping up on the page <clears throat> uh, thankfully I can my glasses can help me read that far away uh, what fun let's see um... hi we'll do this don't forget to tip your servers wherever you are
here's a, an instrumental tune. Turn a couple things up here. I don't know if these subtleties of reverb come across on your computer speakers, um, but if I can hear it in the room, it'll change how I play. So that helps me. All right. Mm. All right, this is called Fatima's Waltz. All right. <clears throat> well, um, you may have noticed, actually I realized as I was staring at my hand during that song, the things that you do when you're cooped up in your house, uh, the new things that you learn. This, this song, uh, my left hand, uh, sh showcases a couple of them. My daughter taught me how to make loom bands today. So I have a new ring, which is nice. I also have a Band-Aid on my thumb from trying to do home projects and cutting myself, doing things. Um, I normally don't get around to but you know here we are we do what we can do to fill our days now oh uh, here's actually let's see yeah I'll do this one here's one thing that normally every other time I play this song I highly highly recommend you trying this at home um, but given the uh, current state of things and social distancing this song would be the last thing I would ask you to do um, Perhaps this can be a, a song that a song that we can look forward to uh, partaking in in the future.
However, the, the underlying theme to this whole thing is about water conservation, so I still encourage you to do that. Just maybe not in this method at the current time. Colorado River is running dry It don't reach the ocean And I know the reason why There's one solution for this delusion That all of us can try Shower with a friend So demand meets supply Well I don't mean to sound crude Or to offend But before the water table Reaches its bitter end starts at home but not alone and I highly recommend to shower with a friend it's politically correct to help each other disinfect and if shampoo labels we always inspect the sodium laurel sulfate for its harmful effects I'll keep my attention fully erect cause the mission is concerned Water deserves that much respect There are many ways to save the world For the sake of me and you Some say it all starts With passing the shampoo For twice the bubbles Half the trouble in a really splendid view Shower with a friend You can start with me and Wash your back if you wash mine But it may or may not save us time Depending on what else we find To pay attention to So if you shower with a friend Just be careful who you choose Because the Colorado River running dry it's time we unify all right i still recommend the shampoo the soap thing that's really good i need to put a isopropyl alcohol verse in there or um you know clorox wipes maybe i should add that um maybe next uh I've got some time on my hands the next few weeks. Uh, maybe I'll work on that, the, uh, adapting that song. That's the life of a folk song, actually, to adapt it to current times. So I'll have to do a little work on that one. See what I can come up with. Let's see, let's switch up guitars here for a second. Um, this is like super exciting for me. Never have I surrounded myself with so many guitars in such small proximity. Um, let's see, we'll switch over here. <clears throat> oh, bump by the, I don't know if you can read that or not since I bumped it I might as well mention it um, it's also in the description of the event as everybody else has been doing um, as part of this set um, there's links for like a tip jar virtual tip jar with Venmo and PayPal um, links and um, before I realized I could do that I, I, I did the analog version and I wrote it in big fat sidewalk chalk so it's really hard to write neatly um, let alone big enough for you to be able to see it but um if you don't see the links it's uh justin at justinroth.com is where um if you'd like to leave a tip those are that email address will work for either account paypal or venmo <laughs> um i'm gonna do a song now that um was written by, let's see, uh, David Olney, who is a songwriter who uh, passed away um, a month or two ago. Um, and I become, became aware of this song because just last month, last in February, uh, Liz Barnes here at Fort Collins hosts the Songwriter in the Round Showcase. And usually at the end of one of those, all the four, all four, four writers um, play a song together, and this is the song that she brought to the table because he had just recently passed. Um, and I enjoyed 
singing on that song so much, uh, I thought I'd do, try doing the whole thing myself here. So this is the first time I've ever played this entire song myself. Um, this is the only the second time um, that I've used this guitar live. We can call this live, uh, which it is. Um, it's a, a Telecaster a baritone guitar that I totally lucked out and found at a pawn shop here in town. So, if my sound checks were accurate, um, I should be all set to go with levels and stuff. Hopefully you hear that just fine.
go. Let's turn this thing off now. I saw that Brian Cottrell is out there. Brian, you need to come show me how to use my pedal board. Um, all right. Well, that doing things that I don't normally do makes me a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous and, and it's a lot of fun for me. So, um, you know, there's a whole lot of new things going on today. So this is really great. Let's see. And how much time we got? We got some time. Okay, good. So let's, um, I'm going to switch guitars again. Do another crazy weird thing. Let's see here. Try not to trip myself. See, all right. So this uh, beauty, this is my harp guitar built right here in Fort Collins by the wonderful Ronnie Owens, who I also think is online right now watching. Ronnie, if you're out there doing a little post, I, I don't know if you actually have officially have a website or not, but um, look for the name Ronnie Owens on there if you want to get yourself one of these bad boys as some people have said this is like a true axe actually looks like one um, get in touch with Ronnie I love this thing and it was such a beautiful addition to my life and um, thank you Ronnie for everything um, I'm gonna do a song that's title track to um, one of my records called now you know I believe in there. There you are, Ronnie. I see you. Web Website to come, he says. But you can click on his page and get in touch with him. Instant Messenger. Um, so this is a song called Now You Know. And, um, oh, there's his email address. All right. Thank you, Ronnie, for following up there. This is so interesting. I can't point him out in the room. Normally, he's, like, sitting right over there. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, from Now You Know. And the song on the album did not have the harp guitar. This harp guitar is uh, just about two years old now. And um, if I'm doing my math right, year and a half, year and a half. And um, so I rearranged it to um, do it on this guitar, um, to basically as an exercise to learn how to play this monster. So um, it is still teaching me many things. Um, so here we go, after a sip of water, Okay. Hey. Too much reverb. Okay. Hey, yay. All right. It's called Now You Know. I want it back 
me Oh Even Though You are silent I am Snow I am one With you much More And I need All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I realize I didn't do a little brief description um, beforehand, just what's actually going on with this instrument. Um, for those of you who haven't seen one of these before, they have been around since the late 1800s. Some believe actually even before that. They were common for parlor music. Say, uh, imagine 100 years ago, and uh, people um, like parlor music, kind of like previous or uh, earlier... Uh, house concert like formats where they'd maybe have like a mandolin quartet playing in the parlor and usually to accompany them would be somebody on something like this so they could play the chords and bass lines and such to fill out the um, fill out the arrangement so these kind of th these came back kind of into uh, popularity I wouldn't say popularity because they're not really all that you don't see them hanging on the walls of guitar stores but um, becoming more and more people Fingerstyle guitar players becoming more interested in I've seen a guy named Michael Hedges uh, kind of bring it back and starting to write new compositions on it. And now there's many, many people out there playing these now. Um, you just don't see them very often. So I feel very fortunate that Ronnie um, was so gracious uh, and generous to build this for me right here in town. And um, so very fortunate for it. So the, the idea behind it though is the guitar portion is just a standard guitar um, as it normally would be. Then going typically going down the scale, whatever key you're in, whatever your lowest string on the guitar is, you can go down the scale or do whatever variation of notes that you want, but typically in a descending uh, fashion so that you can add bass lines or do little bass lines in between. Um, so there's your little harp guitar tutorial. Look it up, Google it, um, and uh, see what else you can find because these things are really amazing to, to play so all right turn that guy off actually i probably shouldn't call it a guy a guitar with that many curves i'll, I'll, I'll set her down over there okay let's see all right <laughs> Here's a song that I wrote uh, while driving. Um, I wish my screen was a little bit bigger so I could read what the comments are. I can see the names because they're in bold, but um, I see that Ronnie's posted something, but I can't quite tell yet what that is. Um, but I wrote this next song while driving, um, which is this is pre this predates cell phones. Well, maybe the early days of cell phones predate smartphones. Um, so I think to nowadays there's a lot more things that you can do that are uh, far more distracting um, while you're driving. Um, but back in the day, I, I used a very small guitar that conveniently fit in my lap. Ukulele players would have it even easier um, for stretches driving across Nebraska where there were no turns and very few cars. And I um, wrote this little ditty here. It's called Spaghetti Junction.
Right, spaghetti Junction. Let's see, I got time, I guess, for one more song. A big shout out uh, that I want to give to Sarah Slayton for inviting me to be a part of this. Um, I look forward to finding more ways to connect with those of you who are watching, um, find more performance opportunities. I mean, I've got all this set up now. So now I want to find out ways to do more of this, whether it's sharing music or um, guitar talks, guitar lessons, song feedback um, for those of you you know guitar players or songwriters out there um, send me a private message if you have ideas or something that I can offer to you um, I would love to find ways to do more things like this and be connecting with you since uh, none of us can be out on the road getting on stages and having you gather in you know unsafe ways um, so I encourage you all to stay safe and um, stay at home and, uh, you know, we'll all do our part to try to help each other out. I'm going to... This next song is kind of a community coming together song uh, under very different circumstances. Um, and... Uh, But I think that's kind of the tragedy, well, tragedy or whatever you call what this is. Um, it's, yet, it's yet to be really kind of figured out how, how this is going to play out. Um, but um, how people come together to work towards a common goal, I guess, is the idea. And um, I hope that uh, as a community and as a nation, as a 
world community. Um, we can find ways to continue to do that and and find what the, the silver lining is going to be. Um, in certain ways, I've already seen some in small ways, uh, seen things that are would be considered silver linings. Um, quality time with our um, our families, our kids. Um, you know, obviously under kind of strenuous, uh, abnormal circumstances, but um, there's going to be some takeaways. I certainly hope that um, make us look at things differently and um, maybe do things differently uh, as we proceed into the future. So this is a song that I wrote for um, those who are effect directly affected by the floods in Colorado in 2013, and um, being inspired by seeing how people came together to um, help each other out. So this is called Rise. And if you're so inspired, uh, please uh, check out the Venmo or PayPal link. Um, There's um, a lot of people out there who are, are not able to do what they do, what they've been trained to do right now, and uh, it leads me to believe there are people who need it even more, but I, what I hope is that, um, I'm not sure what I hope, but thank, for, thank you for anything that you're willing to share, and we're all trying to make our way through this and figure it out. September 12, 2 a.m. Rain's been coming down for days and the river's rising. Sirens call. Gotta get out of town. A friend and his wife, his old guitar. They grabbed what they could and threw it in the car. But the road's washing out. It's a state of mind to help those that you love Seeing all that river ripped apart Push came to shove Time is running out Run He said some of the neighbors Stubborn as a mule Gonna ride it out up on the butte, but there's no getting round. The highway's gone like nothing they've ever seen before. Cars floating by, the river ran down Main Street. They didn't get far. It took so much not to give up anymore. So they waited. For the shinooks up on higher ground At daybreak they lifted over what's left of the town Feels so helpless on the outside looking in Like watching a surgeon recklessly Cutting in to someone You love Now the water's spanning out Across the flooded plains the river's changing course Through farms in open range This land may never ever Sister and brother will lift up one another. 
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for being here. I look forward to connecting with you more this way for quite some time. Again, please send me a private message if you have ideas or if something that I can do to be of service or uh, if you want to host an online house concert or just get pointers or whatever whatever it can be. Um, we're all figuring out how we can use what we have in the space that we have to use it in and to you know be of service in some way um, and also you know to pay our bills and such. So I wish you all the best uh, health. All the best luck in finding your way and staying healthy. So um, we'll see you down the road. Not the physical road, the web road. Okay, goodbye.